Sleep here. Uh, again, actually, quick unboxing here. I just got a couple things to see uh, through Amazon. I've been kind of looking to get in my come in handy in my builds. I got the uh, Dubro prop balancer. Got tired of using that little magnetic thing, you know, and, and, and they're not all that accurate. Plus, if you get anything of any size, they just, just don't work. They're not strong enough, they won't hold it. Um, but I've been looking at one of these for quite a while, and that's going to come in real handy. And then I saw some uh, somebody using one of these. They're they're pretty cheap. They're only about twelve or thirteen dollars. Uh, it's a little vacuum throw meter. Uh, instead of trying to sit there and hold it, you know, with the, the ruler and stuff. But I know it's easy to do. But uh, um, this you just clamp on the wings. You align it with the center. You know, once you get them aligned, and then you can check your throws with this at, at just a glance, up and down, uh, without having to hold the ruler up there and you know eyeball it and stand steady and stuff and I'm not all that steady all the time anyway so that'll be kind of cool uh, but I did promise an unboxing today of the uh, the Garmin Ultra 30 uh, action cam and it just came here today it actually got here just uh, uh, yesterday actually uh, to tell you the truth was it yesterday no I'm sorry the computer came yesterday this came this morning so many things coming in lately, it's just uh, kind of hard to keep track of. The B25 is uh, it's still got problems, and, and I've yet to been able to uh, actually iron out, pinpoint the spot. Uh, it's an electrical issue somewhere. There's a cross wire or a solder or just a little fine strand laying over and touching. It's doing something. It's just doing it weird, and I can't pinpoint it on any particular channel. Uh, so I talked to Force RC this morning, and they're just going to send me a whole new plane, and I'll send them back what I've got, and, uh, or I'm possible chance I might get to keep it. Anyway, they're going to send me a new plane, and hopefully I won't have to worry about that again. But, uh, and trying to repair the thing and going through it and inspecting everything, you know, you just end up with damage anyway. So here we go. I ordered the bundle kit. Uh, it's $3.99 on sale, Amazon, um, and, and I went through uh, eBay. And I found a store on eBay that's, that sold it for uh, $4.09 uh, with the bundle kit. So we've got the camera that comes with it here. We'll get into that in a minute. But for another $10, you get a nice, a nice sturdy, sturdy hardcore carrying case. It'll bundle and, and carry everything. It's got uh, mounts and all kinds of different stuff in there. Head mounts and chest mounts. And there's a floating boy that comes with that. They give you, it comes with, I mean, this is kind of cool too. It comes with a 32 gig uh, memory stick and an adapter. Um, and a nice coupon code to uh, save $15 off your next order. You guys want to take a look at this. You might write, write down that code. Hit pause on your computer real quick. Okay, I don't think they'll notice the difference. To tell you the truth, it's a plug for a beach camera. And uh, all kinds of stuff there to choose from, guys. So, uh, not an intentional plug. I just thought I'd throw that in for them. They got it here in a heartbeat for me. Uh, Ooh, dogs like these pop. And, of course, so it, it says here I've got a cleaning kit, uh, a lens cleaning pen, microfiber cleaning cloth, the camera, a floating boy, high-speed SD card and reader, um, a Vivitar clip head mount for the action camera. That would be kind of cool. I need the head mount, especially if I don't want to wear, uh, be wearing a cap. Uh, and it says the memory card by the box. There's more to it here, I see. And what is this? Okay, there's our little three-piece cleaning kit. That's cute. And an SD card reader writer. I think that already came. Oh, this is the reader writer, so you can plug it into your computer, take it right off of here. Most of the time, you can take it right off your camera, though, guys. So uh, I want to take a look here in the kit here real quick and see what they gave us because this is kind of neat. storage real nice little camera or, or bundle kit case a uh, couple of different swivels and mounts GoPro style 
the harnesses for your chest, harness for your head mount. Uh, that's uh, the actual head mount, helmet, oh, helmet mount, and then this is a head mount. So you got a helmet, helmet mount and a head mount. Here's a bicycle mount, so you get to for your bicycle. And, oh, looks like a, self, a selfie stick. Huh. Well, this could come in handy, I suppose. It's kind of nice, though. It's rubber. And uh, it, it gets out there a ways. Cool. That could come in handy for those awkward shots. Yes. And uh, sweet, sweet. I think we like this stuff. Uh, I'm already liking what I'm seeing. All kinds of accessories here. Uh, mounted pretty much to anything, it looks like. Sweet. And then here, I was wondering if I was going to actually get a mount that I could put it on a tripod. And there it is right there, guys. It's got the tripod mount. And uh, it's a ball. A ball-type system up here that... that uh, Oh, no, it's not. No, this just hooks up to another one of the holders for it. Okay, so this is cool. I got a, a tripod mount as well. And it's a really cool case. All hard color. I think we're digging on this one. Put that to the side. Let's get, uh, let's get on with the camera, huh? You see, maybe you may have noticed I've moved into my office here. I'll uh, give you a quick shot here of what I'm doing. I got a couple of boxes up there yet. I got to get down. Uh, one of them, they're both full actually. One containing the fuselage and the wings for the Mustang, and then I got the YF23. I haven't built yet. That's a winter project. That's what I'm going to do. This one of the ones I'm going to build this winter. And we've got the Corsairs, big and little. We've got the P47s, big and little. And then uh, right above my head over here, we've got the the Mustang 1700. Yeah, this kind of came in, kind of works out nice up here. And it clears just beautifully, uh, and it looks kind of cool. It does not. Uh, it, it, it's off the floor, guys. I mean, it's out of it's out of space, you know, out of out of sight and out of mind, right? And then here we've got our our office uh, set up here. I've got a, a desk. Best deal I ever ever seen or ever gotten anywhere for anything. Uh, Goodwill store for this desk, guys. Guess how much? It's all solid wood. I mean, this is this is like a three thousand dollar office desk. Uh, it's an older model, I suppose, but it's all solid wood. Um, it had to be completely disassembled to get it in the house. Guess how much I paid for this thing? The whole desk, everything. $12. Marked down from $199 to a half half price deal. And with a, uh, on your birthday, you got another percent. And it just happened. I walked in, and the way the deals worked that day, it ended up being $12. So I got the whole, whole big expensive... <laughs> Beautiful monstrosity for 12 bucks. Anyway, so now we got our, our co uh, computer system in here and uh, the nice big 27-inch monitor. I got a new printer, and there's our little box down there. Right now I'm working on a, a sound system for it. I've got uh, an older four-channel, uh, dual four-channel sound system that I had on another computer, but I'm having a, a couple of problems with it, and it's, it's old, so the speakers are a little bit tinny. Uh, I think I'm just going to invest probably and get maybe a... A nice Bluetooth or something that I, I can put wherever I want it, run it off the, the computer since since I can get the echo and stuff going. So anyway, while I've got this going here, guys, another quick here look. You want to see what the living room looks like? I'll show you. Sorry, it's a little bit dark. I don't have it lit up in here right now, but uh, there's, there's the infamous B25. But uh, everything else is pretty much falling, you know, falling into place here. I still have a couple things to pick up here, but it, it is livable. And it's kind of cool if people walk in here and they're like, oh, wow, man, this is like an air museum. It's really neat. So uh, anyway, back to this part of the air museum. And let's get going on this camera here. Okay. I'll put you up high here so you guys can see real well what's in the box. And uh, here we go. All right, comes in a nice little package. I like all the stuff they came with. I'll tell you the truth, I think that's really, really pretty neat for an extra ten bucks. We got a little tape in here. I don't want to cut too much if I don't have to. Oh, 
here's what we got. Let's get in a little bit of light here, huh? How was that sound? It's down here a little bit. Let's turn it up. And I can do it this way. Anyway, it looks like a pretty decent little unit. Definitely smaller than the um, than the Elite that I was looking at. This is pretty cool, guys. Yeah, I imagine it comes... It, I wasn't sure if it came with the case, but I thought it might because the pictures all showed it, but it didn't specifically state. And it comes with all your accessories, more mounts, and <laughs> more mounts. And, uh, well, yeah, just a ton of stuff in here. I'm going to have to really go through this to see what it all is. Just a, a bunch of mounts, a bunch of swivel mounts and, and locks and clamps. And, you know, I'm not going to be running short on any mounting stuff, am I? Uh, looks like it comes with battery here. How big is that battery? I'll have to see how big that is. Oh, that's all Chinese. I can't read that. And uh, it comes with the mini USB cable. And what's this down in here? And in here, I think we got another memory stick. Another memory, yeah, another memory card encased. That's interesting. So we got a couple different memory cards that came with this thing. Like I said, all for ten bucks, guys. You can't beat that. That's uh, what a deal. What a deal. So put this in here. I want to look at the camera a little bit more. See what we got. Now it comes in the nice waterproof case. And let's see how this thing works. Remember, I'm, I haven't had any practice with this, so you guys are seeing it raw, like I'm doing it. And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure this just pries out, right? Oh, it goes forward. Okay, forward, I see. Forward, and then what? I'm doing something wrong. Oh, okay, it's forward. Oh, that's kind of cool. Look at that, the way that locks. Okay, so forward, and then it lifts up from here. And that, uh, there's your waterproof case. But that's kind of nifty how that does that. It just goes like that. Or when, I'm sorry. There we go. Just like that. And that's it. No shaking, no rattling. Okay, we're going to have to get this thing trying, uh, uh, get this thing going here, guys. I'm going to have to do my next video with it. And, uh, let's get it out of here again. I want to see what it looks like out of the case. There we go. It's a nice case. Very polished, very clean. And the camera just falls right out. I can see why they, they're saying this thing is uh, really good underwater uh, with the microphone setup that they've got. They've actually got uh, kind of a trans, or very, very, uh, a good little film in there, but a lot of openings to the outside of the case. And on the inside of the case, it's ported right there by the, by the uh, condenser microphone for sound to transmit through the case. So this should be pretty interesting. The uh, videos and stuff I've seen have been pretty pretty good on that. Uh, we'll set this case aside for a second here and look more at the camera. And uh, it's got a nice, it's got a bigger bigger lens on it and stuff. So I'm kind of hoping that this is gonna have some decent, uh, some decent night or low light uh, visibility uh, recording capability. I don't know if I said that right. But we got a little mini HDMI port. We got the mini USB port. So yeah, you can plug it right into your computer and just take it right off of the camera, I suppose. Um, two little buttons up on the top. Uh, one for wi a Wi-Fi button to turn it on or off. And a power button to turn it on or off. And this is a feature I really liked. And Garmin seems to be about the... Uh, the other one had it too with a big slide on it. But this is nice little... Just push this forward... And it's one, you know, one button recording and uh, should be pretty neat. One button off, everything off, saves your video. And this has got uh, um, three axis flights, or three axis image stabilization on it, guys. They keep getting better and better. But uh, this one here, I've seen guys running with this thing and the, and the video looks very, very smooth. 
So the next thing we'll see probably, I'm going to do, uh, do a little learning on this thing here, and then uh, we'll actually have a review on it. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll catch you later. I was supposed to get this, well, stitches out in another week and a half, and then, uh, but I'm getting tired of wearing this thing. I think I'm just going to take it off anyway. Uh, thanks for watching. Nice little camera. Perfect size. This is this is what I'm talking about. I shouldn't shouldn't have wasted any time at all. I should have just gone for the first one that I was looking at in the first place. Instead of trying to save a few bucks and buy that dinosaur. Uh, it sounded terrible too, but it was a good picture sounded terrible. This is supposed to be a whole lot better in 4K. Sweet. Thanks guys. Talk to you later. And I'll catch you uh, as soon as I get this thing going and I figure out how to work this computer and a bunch of other stuff and fix the B25.